Divine Revelation. Besides knowing God by our natural reason, we can also know Him from supernatural revelation. God has often revealed Himself to men through means beyond the ordinary course of nature. This is supernatural or divine revelation, as opposed to the natural revelation of Himself that God makes in the external world and the revelation He makes through our natural, natural reasons and cons conscience. The public revelation of truths to men by God began with Adam and Eve and ended at the death of St. John the Apostle. Divine revelation may be classified into pre-Christian and Christian revelation. Christian revelation may be divided into three parts. 1. Primitive revelation made to Adam and Eve. 2. Patriarchal revelation made to the patriarchs and three Mosaic revelation made to Moses and the prophets. Christian revelation contains the truths revealed to us by Jesus Christ, either directly or through his apostles. Our Lord commanded his apostles to teach all these truths to the end of time. Go therefore and disciples of all nations. We should believe in divine revelation because God, who is the author, cannot deceive nor be deceived. No reasonable man can be believed truth until he, he is sure it revealed by God. We know that is the author of revelation because he has proved it by external acts, especially by miracles and prophecies. Miracles are extraordinary works perceptible to the senses that cannot be accomplished by the mere power of nature. They are brought about by the action of a higher power. The coming to life of a dead man is a miracle. So is the instantaneous cure of a mind blind or paralytic from birth. Our Lord and Apostles were some extraordinary works never before heard of are known but intended or not miracles. They are discoveries or the previously unknown process. Prophecies are predictions of future events that could not have been known by natural means. For the confirmation of the faith, or for the benefit of men, God raised up prophets. Generally speaking, the gift of prophecy is a sure sign that the possessor is a messenger of God. Divine revelation has come down to us through Holy Scripture, written down under divine inspiration and through a tradition, handed down orally from apostle times. From Adam and Eve, at different times, God inspired men to write down his revelations. These passed from generations to generation as sacred books. For pre-Christians' revelation, there were 40, 45 of these sacred books composing the Old Testament. They were jealously guarded by the Israelites, the chosen people whom God himself had chosen to give his truths in fact for the instruction of future generations. Finally, our Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, came to earth and revealed divine truths to men. After his death, his apostles and disciples wrote about him and his teachings. There are 27 of these books composing the New Testament with the 45 books of the Old Testament. The deposit of faith which Jesus Christ entrusted to the church is made up of two parts, Holy Scripture and Divine Tradition. This later being composed of the truths passed down by word of the mouth, and not reading down till after the death of Christ's apostles and disciples, principally by the fathers of the church. Divine revelation was completed at the death of the last apostles. Since that time, no new revelation has been made for the instructions of the whole of mankind. Whenever the church decides a point of faith, it does so according to the scripture or tradition. It simply finds out has been revealed from the beginning.